I was born in Detroit, Michigan. Oh, I'm wow. a Michigan girl, which is why I drink a cop. And I approach off-camera acting as if I am on camera. There's just no camera, which is great, because you can do off-camera in your pajamas. I was known for my extreme foul mouth, but I considered that <laughs> essential to character building. Oh, shut up, pig face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't ever call me Phyllis. Hey, be quiet. <laughs> one episode and Samantha couldn't be there with us that day to record. So Wally says, I there's a problem. I'm mm -hmm. gonna read Sam's part two. And I'm like, okay. So I'll be Sam and I'll be <laughs> Sam's okay. And I'm like talking to myself with full energy the whole time. I love Louise, I love Sam, and we all happen to live in, in Nashville, which is very unusual. Louise is very devoted to her sweet daughter, and um, Sam is, of course, all over and has to do the granite coming this week. Jeff found me somehow and invited me to come to Orlando in 2006. And I remember being at the airport, and the next thing I saw goes, well, someone was coming, and I said, well, who is this Samantha? And, and she came down, you know, walking on the plane and to where we were, and I, we just looked at each other, and we just, like, started screaming and running into each other's arms, you know, like, oh, my God! And we were just crying. It was like... So amazing because we had seen each other in a hundred years and she's so wonderfully young. And it was like, oh my gosh, it was just wonderful. And then I started to meet many of you there and I, I was just amazed. I was shocked. whole group of people that come together around a story, really truthfully, a, a series of stories, but a story of a community. Because what sticks 
is, is the story. The, and the fact that most of the fans were watching these stories during their formative years when perhaps a puzzle piece in their life was missing and maybe that filled it up. And, and that touched me so deeply and I was, and I still am so humbled by this experience because I think, boy, you guys don't see me like day to day and my mud boots and my flabby butt bathing suit and <laughs> there in the mud and scraping crap off of the boat and, you know, this weird stuff, the daily stuff, and then I come here and I'm treated like royalty is like such a mind blower. I can't even explain it. It's just so sweet and touching. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for bowing down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs>
have the light without the dark. You can, you have no shadow. You have no if you you know you have no light without shadow. You have no shadow if there's no light. So we need it all. Although I am not one, we need warriors in the world. We are not just one thing. We are we are these different archetypes that will come and spring forward at times in our lives and how we use them to yeah. be agents of change and to change ourselves so that perhaps we can climb the great spiral of life to perhaps something better and we can go off on that for a while. But, um, you know, we are in this garden together such a short time. Everlasting love, everlasting love, she's trying to hold my soul.